this is the mac pro 2019 16 inches okay and this is the Marvel pro 2020 m1 okay so on my video today i'm going to be comparing both of them all right and telling you which one should be going for in the year 2024 so to get the full information just watch this video to the very end okay and the first i'm going to start out with is the design and the build quality okay so now you know both macbooks have similar qualities there are still some differences you are going to note so by the right hand side of the street lighting like macbook pro you can see that it has you know two type c you know usb ports and also a 3.5 mm headphone jack okay while on this macbook pro 2020 it has just the headphone jack okay and now by the left hand side both macbooks have in two type c ports okay so this 2019 macbook pro has more ports than this watch and now one good thing about all the spots that is on this 2019 macbook pro right here is you know let's say for example we are working by the right hand side like this you know we can plug in on the laptop because all the spots here can be used for charging both on the left hand side and also on the right hand side so you can plug your macbook right here and let's say you're also working by the left hand side like this you can also plug it on the left hand side without having to twist the cable and try to look for the cable to the other side or try to look for it to turn it over here like this so this is one reason why i love the design when i'm talking about the size you guys this is the 16 inch macbook it is quite big look at it <laughs> this is very big compared to this okay simple difference there's an obvious difference between both of them okay and when it comes to you know carrying kind of macbooks around i don't like big macbooks so this is going to post as a weight for me okay this is going to post as a weight for me but i'm going to tell you where either the size as a pro for me okay right now i'm just carrying it around now talking about the size of both macbooks it's going to lead us to the display saying this macbook pro is 16 inch it means you have a wider screen rather than this you know 13 inch macbook pro illustrated so where does this come in hand let's say you're watching a movie you're editing videos do you not install your macbook and you don't have let's say a monitor this screen size is very nice you don't even need to keep the monitor once you have this ready because guys it's going to give you every detail of everything you're watching right here on this 16 inch screen size however even though both of them use this retina display okay it's the retina display this macbook pro 2020 regardless of the screen size gives a better in your quality when it comes to what you are watching it gives you a better video quality so the screen size i'm going to go for the 2019 macbook pro 16 inch but for the quality of the video i am watching i will go for the macbook pro 2020 okay now looking at the keyboard and the keypad you can see that even though you know the sizes are different they both have you know similar features we have here you know, the touch bar and the touch id unlike this you know macbook pro 2015 that has no more button i have made a video about it specifically so you can also go and watch it and find out if you can go for this one you know in the year 2024 so and just so you guys will note i also made a specific video on each of this macbook the M1 2020, the 2019 MacBook Pro, and also this 2015. So you can go and check out these videos individually to know the way you're going to go. And let me go session on any of the videos which are going to be going for and why. Okay, so let's. Yeah. So now for the webcam and the audio, both devices have 720 HD FaceTime camera. However, I don't really like the cameras on both of them. Okay, because for me, I feel if you want to use a camera on any of them, you have to buy an external camera to mount on this. But I will still show you the sample of both HD cameras so that you can tell me which one you will be going for. But for myself, I don't like any of them. So guys, you be the judge of that one, okay? All right, so this is, you know, the camera of this MacBook Pro 2019-16 inch. So you can see how it is in the quality of the camera, the FaceTime 720 HD camera all right so this is the you know webcam of the macbook pro 2020 so now of the performance you know this is one feature that people look out when you know going for any laptop so which one should you go for and what can each macbook do okay so i'm just gonna let you guys know that you know this macbook pro 2019 16 inch was the last macbook you know that had the intel processor yes it has this you know intel core i9 processor right so while this you know macbook pro 2020 all right this you know macbook pro 2020 is the first macbook to have 
the first made Apple owned chip, which is the M1 chip. And as at that time it came out, it was known as the powerful, the most powerful chip on any laptop. So what you hear that you obviously know that this laptop is king, right? This laptop is king. So now when it comes to my own personal view on the performance, apart from what you know Apple is saying about the performance of all on their websites, I have used both of them to edit videos, right? Because you know, editing video is one of the heaviest tasks I can perform on a laptop, if I'm not mistaken. So editing 1080p videos on both MacBooks, fine, it goes seamless, it's very smooth. When it comes to editing 4K videos, when you're using this 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch, you start off going smoothly, then along the line, along the way, you start noticing that your laptop is getting hot, right? It is overheating and the fan has to you know roll louder to blow louder to even to cool down this MacBook and it starts lagging. So we cannot, you know, efficiently you know, edit 4K videos on this MacBook Pro 2019 16 inches. However, working on this in you know, MacBook Pro 2020, right? Working on this MacBook Pro 2020, it is just so smooth. Regardless of the videos I'm editing, 1080p or even 4K, right? It is just too smooth for me. So if you are looking for a laptop to go because of the performance, guys, please go for the MacBook Pro 2020 with the M1 chip, okay? And if you don't have money, you can go for the newer versions, the M2, the M3, M4, yes. However, if you're looking at you know, the price range, then this should be the and then Okay, so now for the software updates, we know that in a few weeks time, you know, Apple is going to release their next updates for the Mac OS. Yes, and you may be wondering which Mac is going to get in it. Now, you can see on the screen, both MacBooks will be getting these updates. Yes, however, we are not sure, you know, if you get the MacBook Pro 9 2019, even by next year, when the next Mac OS comes out, if this is also going to get it, we are not certain of that. But from the look of this, this MacBook Pro 2020 is still going to be getting because of it, even by that next year, when a new Mac OS comes out. So for the update also, and also in terms of, you know, you know how long you need to use the MacBook, I will still advise you to go for this MacBook Pro 2020, okay? So now talking about the battery, guys, on the website of this, you know, MacBook Pro 2019 16 inch, it says it can last up to 11 hours, but using this MacBook to perform heavy tasks and all, it does not really last long, right? Let's say it lasts up to maybe four hours or three hours, depending on the kind of task and performance at part in time. But this MacBook Pro 2020 will last way longer than this MacBook Pro 2019. Yes, it lasts way longer than that. So if this lasts around four hours to five hours, then this MacBook Pro 2020 lasts around five to six hours, you know, it lasts longer. So in terms of the battery, I am still going for the MacBook Pro 2020, okay? Now, off to the price, okay? So now, you cannot get brand new version of both MacBooks. It means you're going for your used, right? Now, so going for your used means, it depends on how much you made the vendor at. Now, I'm a Nigerian, okay? So whatever we're getting from vendors, it's just based on dollar. So if the dollar is high and the price go high, the dollar is low, it comes low, so do you understand? So at the time, you know, I'm making this video, these MacBooks, they have around 200k to maybe 300k price difference. I am not so certain. Do ask your vendor and know how much it is. So why make this MacBook Pro 2020 maybe around 900,000 Naira? This MacBook Pro 20 in 2019 may be around, let's say, 700 or 600k. Okay, so just find out, you know, from your vendor and see how much they sell it to you okay now lastly which one should you be going for at the end of the day you know why you want to get a laptop you know why you want to get a macbook do you understand i'm um, gonna advise you right if you're looking at the performance of the macbook go for a macbook you know 2020 with the m1 chip this m1 chip like i said this is one of the most powerful chips that you can see on the laptop that came out in 2020 even up to now, you see performing a day-to-day task very, very well. Okay, but if you look at the screen size, you can even probably get the M1 in you know, the 16 inch. If you look at the screen size and also look at the performance, well, it's going to also cost you more. But if you don't really have much money, but you just need a laptop to so just start out with the rest of the performance, then you're going to go for this 2019 MacBook Pro. Or check out my videos on this other 2015 MacBook Pro and to also know if you can go for that one. I also compared the 2019 MacBook Pro and the 2015 MacBook Pro just for you.
and also my video i also talk about iphones and everything about the apple ecosystem you know how to spot a fake iphone how to spot a fake mango so that you will not fall into the hands of scammers yes okay and anything about you know even your samsung your other device windows and all so i will see you guys in my next video as i talk about you know more things you need to know about your macbook you know the likes you get this year and all okay see you guys